so far we have covered how to blog, how to build a YouTube channel, how to build that audience, and then how to sell courses through that audience. So how to capture the audience, how to monetize that audience. But we've missed one component and something that I've just kind of learned about recently, and that is short video content. So the future of content is moving towards short videos. When we think about TikTok, Instagram Reels, and all of these people that are now using these platforms more than ever before, Short video is the, the, the future of content, basically. YouTube shorts exists, attention spans are shrinking, people want like 15 second videos, it's the unfortunate state of affairs. But the good news is, these videos are actually pretty easy to create. You can add this into your course selling strategy and it's a whole nother way to build leads and build an audience. And it's actually the fastest way to do it. But before we get started, I wanna invite you to watch my free masterclass, covers how I make $300,000 a month with my online business, my blog and YouTube channel. Thousands of students have gone through it. Make sure to click the link in the description below, sign up for that free training and let's get into the topic for today. So. When we look at Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and now Pinterest even has short videos as well. This is what we have to think about. And you have to think bigger. So there are eight figure brands selling specifically just from Instagram. So there's people that specifically just use Instagram and sell and make over $10 million a year selling their programs just on Instagram. So that's the power of short video, of Instagram, of these social networks when it comes to selling courses. So I did a 30 day experiment on social media. Basically I posted a video on TikTok and Instagram Reels every single day for 30 days. And what did I find? Well, it actually worked really well. So I got 55,000 followers, over 3 million views, and a 20 to 30% lift in course sales over the course of that time. Now, I'm publishing three videos a day on Instagram, Reels, three videos a day on TikTok, and I started adding it in Pinterest. We don't really have a following there yet, but it's all about you know, batching this content, creating a consistent process for this, and then selling courses. So at the time of this video recording, I have 96.5K followers. You can see that all my videos are Reels. There's three a day that get published, and you can see the view count on some of these, and you can see they're, they hover around you know, five to 15, 20,000 views a video, and then some of them pop off more than others, like this one on business ideas, three boring business ideas, 425,000 views. The most underrated side hustle of 2022, that one has 5.6 million views. That one grew the channel quite a bit. So the idea here is you're creating short form content, you're interesting people in about 15 to 30 seconds, and then you're pushing people to the same landing page again, but this is in your actual bio, so link in bio. So you have you can optimize your bio. Like I said, I'm a multi seven figure blogger and YouTuber, helping a thousand people build six figure personal brands. I also have my wife in here because I love her very much. And then the click the link below to get started. So again, this is going back to that opt in page. And then I have some you know um, highlights that show some different stuff and student testimonials. But again, it's another platform that you can build leads from, and it's another you know revenue source that way. So how do you appease the short form algorithms? Again, we're going back to this is another algorithm, much like the Google algorithm, the YouTube algorithm, there's also the short form algorithm. So this is all about engagement and watch time. So kind of like YouTube, but a little bit different. So this is based on one engagement, which is comments, likes, and shares, and then also watch time. So how long someone watches it. So with shorts, you actually want people to watch it twice or watch it through the end and a little bit more. So watch like 120% of the video. And you can do that in a number of different ways. So here's how you do it. You need to hook viewers immediately. And I, I just do this in the same setup as my YouTube studio. You wanna make things appealing to the eyes, which is basically that on-screen text, emojis, colors and stuff, the captions. And there's actually agencies that can do this for you. Um, I don't do this specifically, I outsource that component. But here's a video, here's a formula that I use for these videos. So it's a one to three sentence hook. So the first sentence has to be really in impactful. Then you wanna fill it full of information. So when you're creating these short videos and you wanna keep them engaging and interesting and you're teaching anything in any niche, keep it interesting and add stats and numbers. Add a lot of facts and figures so that people might have to go back and watch it again to fully grasp all of the information. You also wanna bury the lead. So don't give away all the information right away. You can tell a story while keeping people engaged but in like kind of prolonging the real answer till the end. You wanna have some teaching in there and then proof of your success in the summary. So you can view my Instagram for some examples of these, but it's basically interesting hook sentence, statistics and interesting things about the niche, niche and you know how to make money online, burying the lead, giving examples and statistics without really telling some of the answer, telling the answer, helping people, teaching something interesting about affiliate marketing or passive income or maybe something they don't know and then ending the video. So your description can have some hashtags that are uh, engaging in your niche, a couple of sentences in the description, and then a, you know, a link to your uh, page that says like, click the link in my bio and then your username. So it's really simple, but you wanna appease these algorithms by keeping people engaged and 
letting them watch. So for me, what I found is actually in the make money online space, most people don't believe me when I say I make $300,000 a month, their mind can't really fathom it. So they call BS or they call me a liar or they call me really horrible names on Instagram sometimes. But I find it kind of funny because I back it up on YouTube and I back it up with actual screenshots and things that show QuickBooks and bank statements and all of that stuff. But actually what I realized is controversy actually sells. Controversy leads to comments, which leads to more engagement, which leads to more views. So when you want to shoot these short videos, basically you want to be prepared as possible. So for me, like I like to basically script the entire thing. So 30 seconds, like that's like three to five paragraphs of content and I can just kind of read it. And I use a teleprompter app. It's called Prompt Smart Pro. And I can pull it up here and show you. It's it's really simple. It hooks up with Google Docs and you can add your scripts right into Google Docs and in integrate it with Prompt Smart Pro. And then I basically hit the play button and then you can do voice tracking. So it tells you and it can go with your voice or it can just be auto timed and scroll on a timer. And there's actually teleprompters that I can use. So I can set the phone down and I can actually read it right on the screen. Now you can't see it, but I can actually see it because there's a mirror and a teleprompter. So you can be as prepared as possible. You don't have to teleprompt everything and script it, but you want to at least have your bullet points and know what you're going to say. Keep it to 15 to 45 seconds. Keep it short. Keep it concise. And you want to batch this as much as possible. So this is something that when you want to appease these algorithms on TikTok and Instagram, you kind of have to publish almost every single day. For me, I had to like outsource the editing because I'm not going to have the time to do all of this myself from day one. I have to have money to fund this operation so I can create content every single day. I can batch it and I can basically create 30 videos in one day of the month, send it out and have this whole thing done and get millions of views. I couldn't do it if I was editing it every single day myself. Now, when you're starting, you can do that because you can just use the TikTok app and just create a simple video, shoot yourself. The quality on these don't matter as much as YouTube. It doesn't matter. You can just shoot yourself with your camera, say some stuff and publish it. It's really that simple. If you want to add captions, you can do it with Adobe Premiere and After Effects. That's what we use. But outsourcing is good here because editing can take a lot of time if you do captions. If you don't, just use your phone, shoot yourself, talk about something interesting, you know, teach stuff, be consistent, do it every day. And some videos will pop off and lead to a lot of engagement. But you need to systematize it. Just make sure since we're doing like a lot of people on TikTok do like three videos a day. So if we're doing all this content, just make sure you systematize the process. So short form content, it's all about consistency. It's a numbers game. The more consistent you are, the more views you get, the more videos you create, the more some will pop off, some will be successful. And then you push people to that link in your bio and you sell courses that way. So again, if you want to sell courses from social media, you are optimizing your social media profile for sale. So that is through TikTok and Instagram. Instagram is easier because they give you more room to put stuff into your bio. You can link out to more things that don't really, it's not as strict. TikTok is very strict. They don't want people to leave TikTok. So they're very wary of landing pages. You have to be really careful there. I don't even add like my blog opt-in landing page in TikTok. I just have a link tree. I actually use Link Genie, which is a really good company that has that Link Genie set up where it has multiple links you can do. So you can do like, I have like the, uh, opt-in page, then my YouTube channel, maybe my blog, and that's about it. But basically you just wanna optimize the social media profile for sales. So I see people do this where top sentence is who you are. So for there's like four lines on Instagram, who you are, then it's like, I help this many students do this thing. And if you have like a lot of people with a real sales engine behind their social media platform, they then have a third line that says DM, like I'm ready for more help or DM coach or DM mentor for more help. So then they're getting DMs of people asking for help and coaching and mentorship. And then they have a social seller who just comes in and answers all of these people, pushing them to the sell, to the sale and salespeople on the phone and all of that. So there's a whole huge social selling component to it too. So when we're thinking about selling courses from social media, link in the bio, get people to DM you if you have somebody that can manage that push people from DMs into the sales funnel. That could be over the phone sales, or that could just be through your normal, you know, lead magnet and pages and all of that. But a lot of this on social, if you want to build like an eight figure business on social, this is where you have a sales team, commission salespeople going through the DMs, answering calls, getting people to buy. But for now, you just want to have a link in your bio to sell courses through the normal sales funnel that we talked about in previous videos. So if that was interesting to you, if you want to learn more about how I run my business, how I make $300,000 a month, make sure to click the link and watch my free masterclass. It's 60 minutes of training condensed into one masterclass. Thousands of students have gone through it and had lots of aha moments. So click the link in the description below, sign up for that. Please like the video, comment below, and I will see you in the next video.